Greetings. We'll be talking today about liver tumors. My name is Dr. Robert Gish. Now we're going to talk about benign tumors, not cancer tumors. Please see our separate presentation on malignant tumors such as hepatocellular carcinoma. Let's start by talking about where the liver is located. Livers in the right upper part of the abdomen connected to the spleen above the stomach below the right rib cage. Very important organ, has two to 300 functions every day. And this picture gives you a better view of the liver, spleen, gallbladder, blood vessels, relationship to the stomach and the pancreas. Liver is a unique organ with a double blood supply. And we're gonna talk about these segments that you see here in just a moment. Here's what a healthy liver looks like after a liver transplant. That healthy liver or diseased liver is split into right and left lobes. This is the right lobe, left lobe with segments. One, two, three, four, like a clock. Five, six, seven, eight, like a second clock. Those segments are important to note because radiologists will say there's a tumor, it's in segment seven or segment one. That helps guide the provider who, you'll, you're, who you're dealing with to think about what to do about that tumor. Biopsy, resect, monitor, ignore. All of these are options for liver tumors. In the benign liver tumor world, most of what we do is monitoring, occasional biopsy, and much more rarely resection. A normal liver has a smooth surface, tiny vessels, no nodules, no lumps or bumps. Inside the liver, we have regular liver cells. It's these liver cells that change that can cause tumors. Sometimes they come from the blood vessels. Sometimes they come from the bile tubes. Again, a normal liver has blood vessels and normal liver cells. This is a cirrhotic liver. And this is where the risk for tumors, specifically liver cancer, arise, and sometimes benign tumors can be hidden inside the cirrhosis. It's much easier to see benign tumors in the background of a normal liver. Another patient with cirrhosis. These are nodules, but they're not tumors. We like to stage disease to talk about risk for different types of tumors. But most benign tumors occur in the background of a normal liver. It's when people get cirrhosis that we worry about liver cancer. And please see our separate audio video presentation on hepatocellular carcinoma. Cysts in the liver, fluid filled sacs, very common, typically genetic, and you can find them in the kidney. Sometimes these patients need a liver ki transplant, kidney transplant, or potentially theoretically both. Cysts of the liver can be unroofed. We almost never aspirate these with needles because they fail, they reaccumulate. Although once every five or 10 years, I hear a success story about cyst aspiration. So resection or unroofing is a typical thing we do if they're symptomatic, progressive, causing problems. Cysts of the bile tube called cholidococysts can occur. These occasionally can turn into cancer and either they need to be monitored or resected. Adenomas, tumors of the liver that are much more common in women because they're typically estrogen dependent. We take our patients off birth control pills or estrogen supplements. And if they're over five centimeters, we're likely to resect. If they're near the surface, we're likely to resect. And if they bleed, we're likely to resect occasionally these can evolve into cancer as well but that is a special setting imaging biopsies may guide that risk decision process another picture of an adenoma of a patient who had a big part of their liver resected fnh never going to turn into cancer not hormone or estrogen dependent. Rarely do these have to be resected. Rarely do they cause pain, but they can get pretty big. Scar, 
little blood vessel in here may lead to the decision to, for resection, especially if they're hanging off like this one was, off the liver like a little pendulum, can cause pain, rubbing, irritation. But there's no cancer risk and no reason to stop hormone supplements if there's another indication. Nodular regenerative hyperplasia is when there's an autoimmune condition or increased coagulation. Medications all can be part of that process. Nodular regenerative hyperplasia under a microscope is diagnosed by what's called a reticulin stain and can be a cause of elevated liver enzymes. You really want to look for the cause and treat the cause in this diagnosis. Hemangiomas, the most common benign tumor of the liver, basically doesn't turn into cancer and extremely rarely needs to have surgery or resection. And basically, we follow them, but every three to five years just to make sure they're not changing, but that's probably even overkill. So tumors of the liver. We talked today about benign tumors. Find out what kind of tumor you have, the size, the location, how to monitor, and if you need that rare treatment with surgical resection. Malignancies, cancers of the liver, please see our separate presentation. Thank you very much for joining us today.